Hello, I'm Mike and I'm one half of Mind of Travel and today I'm going to be looking at excursions on Morella Cruises, A Taste of the Tropics. I've already covered in part one, Paradise Island, so if you're looking for excursions for that cruise, then I will put the link above. Uh, today, let's have a look, we'll jump straight in. Uh, our Taste of the Tropics starts on day eight, which is the turnaround day in Bridgetown, Barbados. I have covered the excursions for that location in part one. So if you are interested, you will find them at the end of part one. This one, we're going to start on uh, day, our day nine, which is Scarborough, Trinidad and Tobago. So if we go straight into the excursions, there are just five available. So not a lot of choice. And first up, we have the Glass Bottom Buku Reef. So this is £47 per adult and £26 per child. I will do the same as the previous video, which is I will leave it up for a few seconds, give you a chance to pause it if you want to read it. Uh, if you do look this up yourself, then you will be able to find additional photos. I will just show you on this one to see how it works. Oh, that's pretty. Um, there are additional photos to give you a bit more of a clue of what the trip is about. If you want to book this trip, you add to the planner. Beware of the key facts and also important information. Uh, this is quite, this is probably the most important um, because there may be stuff on there that would deter you from wanting to do wanting to do that particular excursion the second one is the beach break we've already looked in part one at some beautiful beaches and this one looks like the quintessential caribbean beautiful beach um we'd all like to be there right now wouldn't we uh that was 28 pound per adult and 15 pound per child Third one is a tour. This is the one that uh, we have booked to learn a little bit more about the history and see as much as we can while we're on this island. So this one is £42 per adult and £22 per child. Tobago Fun Cruise. That sounds like it may well be a bit of a party boat. And that's £100 per adult and £55 per child. Finally, we've seen some beautiful waterfalls. I don't think this one is as stunning as some of the others, but I'm sure it'll still be very nice. But it's Argar Falls and it's £49 per adult and £29 per child. So that brings to end the Trinidad and Tobago and i will just show you the speciality dining uh, for this evening there are two options available at the moment although it does state there should be five bookable restaurants uh, at the moment there are only these two plus the exchange which i will show you in a moment both of these re restaurants we can recommend um, food on our previous cruise was excellent so we we would definitely recommend them uh our next stop is grenada these only appeared today yesterday when i looked at the site and did my cruise planner video they weren't on there so they have appeared today there are 13 excursions in grenada first one clear bottom kayaking guess if you want to see underwater it sounds the perfect way to do it exercise at the same time Creole vintage experience discover Grenada get that will probably be a good opportunity to see as much as the island as you can <laughs> ha 
Height to seven sisters. Downton Abbey of Grenada. Oh, shame there's not a photograph there. <laughs> I'd like to see what that looks like. If anybody does do this trip, please come and post a photo for us. It's a new tour, so images coming soon. But a lot of these, um, a lot of these excursions are stated as being new, but I've been waiting for a long, long time for pictures to appear. And with 15 days to go till we cruise, they've still not appeared. But hopefully they will be here soon. River tubing. Nice lazy way to uh, go down the river. Hopefully it's not too uh, too rough. Power boat and snorkel. The one thing I'd like to see on these excursions is what the maximum number of people is. Because that boat, to me, it's, it's okay, but it, it looks fairly full. I suppose it depends how long you're on it for, really. Chocolate and waterfall. Uh, I definitely, the cruise is bad enough without uh, me partaking in any chocolate tasting. That's a new tour as well. Uh, I'll come down to there so you've got all the information you need. Starwind snorkeling. Sounds specifically like this is mainly snorkeling so would definitely appeal to those people that want to get some snorkeling in rum runner sounds to me like that might be a bit of a party atmosphere uh, i would presume there was uh, be some yeah rum punch <laughs> i think it sort of uh, gives it away doesn't it that it's a bit of a party boat Eco trek to Bamboo Fall. The Spice Island. Sounds like that's uh, quite an extensive tour of the island. And I think we've got one more. Rum and Sun. And we'll pause that one there for you for a few seconds. So those are the excursions currently available for Grenada. And I will look, because I think this might be, there we go, the exchange. Now, just to warn you about the exchange, it's brand new to Morella. It's only on the Voyager at present. It's a type of speakeasy, entertainment, um, immersive, and I think it's proved to be extremely popular. Now, I have been coming on here every day for at least the last three and a half, four months to make sure that I caught this as soon as it came on, because I know that they only do it several nights a week. There's only two sit-ins on those nights and they only accept about 30 to 35 people. So there is only about 120, 130 people get to experience this in the week as things are at the moment. So it is crucial if you want to do this that you book it as soon as possible. Now, I don't really know why they include it as a dining option because there are there is no food. You get three um, additional cocktails, which are not available anywhere else on the ship. So th I think they also serve some popcorn, but I'm not 100% on that. But it sounds and looks like it's going to be an extremely fun evening. When these first came on, they were showing, if I click on there now, when I first 
saw these and I'd been on the day before following day I went on they were there I was right quick get in we got to book these and uh, when I went on each of them they all had this message unfortunately we don't have any tables available for your dining party to book at this time please inquire about your dining options on board now I was a bit puzzled why everyone was showing this message even though they'd only just gone on and I sent an email to TUI asking um, whether there was you know if, if it's showing as full then is there a reserve list and they sent me a mail back saying no you'll just have to inquire when you get on board now two days later I just on the off chance clicked on it again book and I couldn't believe it when two times came up and I was able to book for us for two people for 6 30 p.m and that was like that for about a day and now all you can see again is this message so I feel like I was extremely lucky but I would say if you come on and you see this message check again because it may well be that that you will get the same uh, look that that we did now I will just say on the other restaurants I could book for three or four people we're going with two friends this year and I've been able to book all the the, the other two restaurants um, for four people which makes it a lot simpler than us having to do it do it separately it also means that we will get that table together now on here it would only let me do two every time even though there was times available every time I tried to do four it came up with the message that they weren't available so be prepared that you might only be able to book for for two people anyway it's proving very popular hopefully they will extend it to other nights and give more people the chance to uh, experience it I will say that the exchange is open every night but it's only on two nights a week that they have the immersive experiences right we're moving on our day 11 is at sea uh, day 12 is Guadeloupe we look quickly here there are only four excursions for those of you that are fans or watch death in paradise there's obviously a lot of people because it's already sold out uh, death in paradise I will pause that for you there I think things that are showing sold out on this cruise are likely to be the things that sell out on future cruises so if you do want to do this in particular then you will know that you need to look out and get on here and book it as soon as you can highlights of Guadeloupe amazing eco tour and that one is sold out as well probably two of these sold out because of the lack of other excursions there's a very limited very limited choice we are going to get a taxi and go to Gossier Beach and then hopefully we will get across to Gossier Island, which is just a short five minute boat crossing uh, onto Gossier Island. And we've decided to spend our day doing that. Uh, but those are the trips available in Guadeloupe. i say a little bit limited. If we go on to Kingstown, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and we have 14 here uh, Vermont Nature Trail Hike again it's a new tour so no photos yet Panoramic St Vincent Bekia Sail Away I really quite fancy this but I haven't booked it yet the 
we are toying with the idea here of um, just coming off the boat and walking to the botanical gardens uh, in Georgetown. But this sounds very nice and I might, I might have to look at this. Uh, beautiful Bakia Beach. Uh, it doesn't show pictures here, but I have looked at the beach. Um, it's called Lower Bay Beach. I have looked at it online and it, it does look a beautiful beach. Private fishing charter, uh, obviously popular. There's six places left, £160 per adult, but I'm sure you, uh, you that like fishing, it will be a really brilliant trip. Oh, have I got everything in there yet? Kayak and snorkeling adventure. See, things like this you have to look out for. Restrictions, minimum age for the excursion is 16 years old. And that's why the important information is quite important to, uh, to read. We then have St Vincent by ATV. The ATVs have been really popular on the other islands, but still showing as available here. Uh, although there's no pictures to actually be able to see or have an idea of what it's like. Sparkle Snorkel, again, for those people that like snorkeling, lots of opportunities in the Caribbean. Best of St. Vincent. Again, an opportunity to see more of the island. St. Vincent Fun Sale. Yeah, it's such a shame that the pictures aren't on here yet. Because uh, it's good to get an idea of what boat do they use? You know, how big is it? And unfortunately, without photographs, you, you don't get to, uh, to see that. But for those of you fans of Pirates of the Caribbean, this is where you can go and see where it was filmed. Private Mount Wynn Beach Party. I can only think that um, St Vincent must be a new stop for Morella um, because of all the new excursions, the new tours that there are. Leeward Coast and Volcano Views by Catamaran. Again, hopefully they will have these pictures up soon. Caribbean Pirate Sailway. This um, sold out first and sold out a long time ago. So obviously this is going to be popular because of the film Pirates of the Caribbean. So again, if you're interested in this one in the future, then you will probably need to get on to your planner early to get it booked. And finally, St Vincent by Land and Sea. Always nice to combine the two. And that brings us to the end of the St Vincent excursions and finally we have our final stop which is St Lucia if we look at excursions then this has quite a lot 23 to choose from uh, on this island so let's start with Castries trolley train tour this one is sold out so obviously popular Aerial tram? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm sure it's really good, but I'm not sure 
I'm not sure about that one. Oh, sorry, I'll come up there a little bit so you can see all of the information. Beans to Bar Experience by Hotel Chocolat. If chocolate is your thing, then this might be uh, a good trip for you to go on. Admire the pitons. Beautiful they are. Panoramic St. Lucia. Whale and dolphin watching. Oh, I'd love to see that. I've seen many dolphins and I never tire of it, but I've never seen a whale and I would I would just love to be able to go out there. Unfortunately, sightings can't be guaranteed. St. Lucia Fumbus. If you want to party a little bit, then I would imagine it combines. I was going to say alcohol, but I can't see alcohol mentioned on there. Then we have time at the beach. If beach is your thing, then this is probably for you. Um, should we have a look, see if we can find a better picture of the beach? Ah, there we go. Not as nice as some of them we've seen. Oh, we might as well look at the last picture. That's ah, better, that view. Diamond Botanical Garden, Mineral Bath and Waterfall. Sounds like a fun-filled day. Lot to see and do. I did say in the first video that I actually, we, we looked at a lot of local tour companies and I actually think TUI are, are very, very well priced and competitive with local tours. And they were, they were, they were similar in price. The only difference is some of the local tour trips were a little bit longer but i have to say i was quite impressed with their excursions for these for these cruises right horseback trail and beach ride that looks a beautiful beach and if you like horses then definitely saddle up and a nice walk across the the beach is it a walk trot no i don't know <laughs> I'm well, not galloping because I've done that once and never again. And right, this is the one we've chosen on this occasion Pigeon Island and Piton's Half Day Experience. We went, last time we went to St. Lucia, we went on a boat past the Pitons and it was so memorable. I want to do it again. The bonus this time is it includes um, snorkeling and a little bit of time on the beach. And we didn't have that last time. So really looking forward. I think St. Lucia is a beautiful island that those of you that have not been before. Oh, I, I forgot to mention the horseback trailers sold out. So obviously limited numbers on that one. So book that ASAP. St. Lucia's West Coast of Volcano. Ultimate Land and Sea. Safari, Jeep and Sailing Catamaran Combo. Again, it's good to combine two things in one. I would imagine that would be a fun day. Uh, Piton's Cruise. As I say, it's lovely. Um, this is what uh, similar to what we did when we last went to St. Lucia and it was 
really really memorable for me so i would definitely say if you get the chance to see the pitons go go by boat it's brilliant uh gone too far haven't i scenes of saint lucia i guess for people that want to see a little bit more of the island you have the opportunity with this one mount Pymard hike for those more active amongst us guess it's uh, a different way of seeing the pitons and some spectacular views i would imagine marigot bay beach escape again beautiful beautiful beach if you want to go and spend the day only six places left so that's quite popular with people Sightseeing by boat. Lots of choices in uh, St. Lucia. Treetop canopy adventure. I presume that will be probably zip lining. Let's have a quick look at that. Oh, there we go. Bit of zip lining. And ropey bridges. And we can't have too many more left. Lucian style Segway. Segway is great fun, very easy to pick up and learn. So, um, probably 20 years since I last went on a Segway. Um, but it, I remember it being a lot of fun. Volcanic mud bath experience. Well, it probably do the skin a lot of good. So maybe I should have thought about this one. And finally, I think we're down to the last one now. Jeep and beach. Again, a good way of seeing some of the island and and then finishing off at the beach. So that concludes the excursions for this part of the cruise. Uh, we then end up back in Barbados and unfortunately back home. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, we will do some, um, some videos of some of the trips that we're going on. Uh, just to give you an idea what we've added. So we've got Turin Tortola, uh, which we will do a video on and the Surf and Turf. We've got Essential Sink Kits, Nelson's Dockyard, and yes, we've booked the lock-in. Uh, we've got the Rainforest Drive, Emerald Pool, and my little bit of daring, the River Tubing. We've got Tobago South, day nine. Day 10, Grenada, we've got Corolla, and day 14, we're doing Pigeon Island and the Pitons Half Day Experience. So lots for us to look forward to. We are going to be doing a full playlist on our cruise with Morella Voyage, Voyager. So please, uh, if you'd like to be notified of those as they appear, hit the notification, the bell. And if you haven't already subscribed, it helps us out a great deal, gives us a, a brilliant boost uh, to know that hopefully we're being of help to people with the information that, that we give. And also, a like would be nice as well. So hopefully you'll come back and watch our future videos. Uh, really, really now looking forward to getting on the Voyager and uh, sharing our experiences with you. Take care out there and happy cruising.